Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I've got my favorite workout gear. All my favorite workout gear, and I'm actually sharing some of my workout gear fails. So some of the stuff that I absolutely hate that I'm for some reason still holding on to, and I don't know why. Also, Gymshark. I know Gymshark is like the Morphe of the fitness world. It's like you see it all the time, but you're like, is it really good? Do I really need to get it? Also, just as like a, a beep, 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 just so you guys know, I'm definitely not like a cute, like fitted up when I go to the gym. There's definitely no like really cute ass like two piece outfits in here. If that's what you guys are looking for, you're not gonna find it here. This is just like some of my favorite like Amazon tanks, leggings, random shorts, and my sports bras that I like to buy. Pretty much nothing matches, so I hope you're ready for that. First thing we have is leggings and Gymshark definitely by far has my current favorite leggings. The first style that I love, this is their fit style. I buy the cropped ones, I'm 5'3", so you guys can see what they look like on me. I did try and buy the regular length ones. I had a lot of extra stuff at the bottom, a lot of extra fabric. I refuse, absolutely 100% refuse to get my gym clothes altered, tailored. I don't even like doing it with my nicer clothes, my daily clothes. I don't like doing it. I refuse to do it for gym clothes. I will not do it, okay? So anyway, I buy the cropped ones. These are my current favorite style. I definitely go back and forth between this and the other style that I'll show you guys in a second. But these on me, I, they look so weird as I'm holding them up right now. These on me, I would say are more of like a mid-rise. Definitely not high-rise. They're below my belly button, but my torso is like this big, just for reference, in case anybody's wondering. My torso is like this. This big, very short. Are these squat proof? I don't think so. You can see right there. I personally don't really give a shit, you know? If you're staring that hard at me, then let the boy watch. I love these ones because on the inside they have like a little rubber grippy, so they stay up very well for not being high rise. The only time they've ever slid down is when I was doing sprints with a resistance band wrapped around me and a pole behind me and sprinting away from the pole, it was pulling down and that's the only time it ever actually pulled down my pants. So the underwear that I just started buying is this brand called Commando. Commando? Yeah. I love these ones. They are seamless. I wear them with pretty much everything now. They're definitely pricey, but they're like very, very comfortable and I love them for a lot of things. Also, since we're here, let me just throw these in here too because I don't like to wear shapewear. I feel like it actually makes me look worse like when it squeezes, like it'll squeeze out fat up here. I have a lot of excess like skin and stuff on my midsection. Do I have like a lens flare right now? I do whatever. So it'll squeeze out like a lot of my stuff here or like on my legs. Anyway, I just don't like doing it. I like to wear smoothing. So this is what I wear for like, like uh, really thin dresses. You know, like all those slip dresses that are really popular right now. This material is so thin. It just smooths everything out and you can't see it under a dress like that. And this brand is, I think Chantel. Yeah. Those are from Nordstrom as well. Should I close that? Or is it kind of cute? No, it's too much. That was super cinematic looking, but I think I had to stop it. Now I'm like, wow, I can actually see what's going on. Anyway, these ones are great. They're 35 bucks. I have a bunch of pairs of these. I have this color, I have the gray color, and I have a bunch of pairs of the black ones. And these ones I feel like are probably my most staple leggings, I would say. And then these ones are the other style of the Gymshark ones that I have. So this style is called Energy Seamless cropped. These are smalls. Those ones are smalls and those fit fine. These ones are smalls. I think I need, to, I need to go up a size now. They're like really, really tight in the leg, like a little bit too compression on me and same in the waist. If you're looking for like a stomach, like you want to like be snatched in, feel like you're wearing Spanx, these are definitely it. They have a very, very good compression. The only problem for me on these, I think because my torso is pretty short, is that it'll come up to here and then I feel like all this kind of like squeezes over. It's almost like wearing shapewear, which it feels comfortable, but when I'm wearing like a, a more snug tank top, I just don't, I don't really feel that great, you know? So I think I'm gonna go up a size in these, but these are great. This is the cropped one. I think these are in like the $50, $55 or $60 range, but they're definitely like, worth it, the material is legit on these, and I think these are squat proof, I'm pretty sure. Like for the most part, I think these are way, I always like to use light behind it. I mean, I'm like really stretching it right there, but I think these are definitely a lot more dense and thicker than the other style that I showed you. But anyway, I have the similar colors, so I have gray, the olive green, and then the black in these ones as well. So I kind of go back and forth. So I was like, dang, I really only wear Gymshark leggings now. And then I was like, what did I used to wear? And this is the style that I used to wear. These are the Nike Sculpt Lux Tight Fit High Rise Crop Length Leggings. And I was wearing these for the longest time. I had just a few pair of these that I would cycle back and forth. 
Obviously this is a brand new pair that I've been holding on to because I'm like, maybe they'll fit me again one day. But I always wore small and then they just completely stopped fitting me. They don't fit my thighs anymore. And then the waist, I swear when I bought a new one, either my waist got bigger or this just got a lot smaller. But I'm choosing to say that this got a lot smaller because I can't get them on anymore. So. I guess it's time to let these go. All right, now let's talk about tops. My favorite tops that I li like to wear in the gym. Sometimes I wanna dress like cute or have a little like style when I go to the gym and then I'm just like, why? If I ever feel slightly uncomfortable in what I'm wearing, it really like throws me off my whole workout. So these are some of my favorite styles. This one right here that I'm wearing right now, this is one of the ones from Amazon that I showed you guys a while ago. They have them in white, black, and then black with like colored trim, but I'll show you guys some of the other ones. I really like to wear these tanks with the Gymshark leggings that have the Gymshark thing at the top. They're it's a very comfortable like duo for me. These are a little bit more fitted. I think when I said they were more relaxed fit, I was a little bit leaner than. <laughs> They're snug, but they I feel like they, they're a little bit baggy, you know what I mean? I do have some Nike tank tops that fit a little bit tighter than these, so I think I was comparing it to that. But anyway, these are pretty basic. I wear these, I would say, the most often to the gym these days. They're simple, they're affordable, I love that. Other tops that I wear very, very often are very simple racer back Nike tank tops, just like this. Now, I found most of these at Nordstrom. This is like my favorite style of thing to wear. Like I can't wear t-shirts anymore. I feel like I just get really hot. I don't like to wear crop tops because I just feel like very exposed and then I just start to feel very uncomfortable. This is like my area that I'm not uh, as comfortable showing, you know, I'm a little bit more insecure in there. So I'm not really like a crop top person. It just doesn't work for me. I get very uncomfortable. So anyway, I really like this style of tank top when I'm at the gym. It's super comfortable. If I'm feeling like bloated, I'm like, dude, I don't wanna wear anything fitted right now. Please don't make me. This is like one of my favorite style of tanks to wear, just literally plain. I have a ton of different colors of these ones, black, white, olive green, blue. Blue. Some of them fit different than others, unfortunately. Like I think this one fits a little bit better than the one that I just showed you. Some of them are smaller, some of them are a little bit bigger. Oh, this style of tank is actually my newest find that I really, really love the material. This is the brand Zella from Nordstrom and I think I found these online. But these are actually a high neck tank top. So it fits like that, but the material is very, very thin and it's not like cotton and it's not like this kind of like snap. I don't know what it's called, spandexy. It's cottony, but it's thinner than cotton, and it doesn't have that like really strong spandex feel to it. These just are so comfortable to wear. So I have a few different ones of these. I just got a couple black ones and a couple white ones. And this is um, the size extra small because they are pretty oversized, but they're so comfortable. I love wearing these ones. Like these are definitely like in my rotation for ones that I wear very regularly now. Now we gotta talk about the Gymshark tops because I love the Gymshark leggings and I didn't even realize how many Gymshark tops I had till I pulled out my stuff for this video, but I am not a fan at all, I will tell you guys why. This is obviously just because of my personal comfort level slash preferences. This is, oh God, what is the name? Something vest, it's called like a vest or something. Anyway, when I have this on, I feel like I'm squeezing 10 pounds in a five pound bag. It's kind of like that, not super compression-y like the leggings, but it feels kind of similar to the leggings. Like I just feel like I'm wearing Spanx for my whole top half, but I don't like it. So I have that tank top that I got from them. I also have this top, which I wore, oh, I remember now. <laughs> I wore this on a hike. I wore this and then the matching leggings. And this is, does it say the style name? I'll put it in the description box, but I wore this with the matching leggings and I got so hot, I thought I was gonna die. And it wasn't even that hot outside. I think it was like in January, but I just, I felt like the heat was getting trapped inside my body and I was so uncomfortable. Wearing a long sleeve and working out is definitely not for me. Wearing something like high up on the neck that's really fitted is just not comfortable for me. I see people doing the videos all the time you know, wearing the Gymshark, like long sleeve tops looking super cute. And I'm just like, I can't do it. Like I get so hot, but I don't really sweat like a ton, ton. But once I start working out, once I get to a certain threshold of heat, and then I do start sweating, that's when it's just like, see you later. So I'm not a fan of any of their tops and we'll talk about their sports bras in a second because I've gotten some of those too. So my favorite sports bra of all time is Nike. It is, I believe it's the medium impact one. This is this the cut. This is what it looks like. I have a bunch of different colors of this exact style of sports bra. It's a medium impact one. I take the little foamy things out because when you wash them, they get all like weird. They slide around, they fold in half, and then you have like a weird thing right here. So I take all those out. This is another one that I have. That's the exact same style. 
medium impact sports bra. It's just the most comfortable for me. I feel like there's still a little bit of bounce in there, but uh, for the most part, it's the most comfortable for me. Definitely my go-to. I have a lot of other styles of Nike sports bra. I think this one's called the Indie. To me, this is a lower impact sports bra. This is like more of a casual wear one for me. This is what I'm wearing right now. So it's just kind of like wearing around the house. If I'm not doing like a lot of cardio or like bouncing around um, at the gym, like this is not a jump roping sports bra for me. Like. I'll fly out and get hit in the face and get knocked out by one of my own boobs. Here's another one. And I usually find most of my sports bras and stuff like at Macy's and Nordstrom. And then of course I have a lot of like the cute ones, you know, that they're like, they're cute. This one's definitely like a lower impact sports bra dry fit one. This one I got at 602, which is like hella cute. Like hello, strap city, straps everywhere. And then like wraps around at the bottom too. It's just, there's a lot going on here. It's, I can't even figure it out. Nike definitely has my favorite sports bras right now. I have some Adidas ones that I like too. And now lastly, my least, I feel like I have to throw in here the stuff that really just failed me. So this is also another Gymshark fail for me are the sports bras. You guys, I was trying to, you know, have a moment and it just didn't work out. So this is the Fit Sports Bra and it's very, you know, it's very thin, lightweight. I didn't anticipate doing it for like intense fitness, high intensity workouts. But this one, the cut is just way too long for my torso. So if you just look at it, you can kind of see like, it's definitely like a lot longer than the Nike ones. And then on top of that, it has a stretch to it. I do think if it was shorter, that it would work out okay for me. Not so much for like high intensity workouts, cause this is like a very low impact bra, but just in general, it's like, I have this on and it goes down to like here on me. So it just, instead of holding them down, it just felt like it was kind of pushing them down. You know what I mean? So this one didn't work out for me. Still cute though, but it didn't work out for me. The other style of sports bra, dang, I hella tried. I forgot about this. I really did try because I have the matching green uh, leggings too. So this is the other style of sports bra that I tried out. And as you guys can tell, if the other one was too long on me, this one's definitely too long on me. I mean, if I wore this with the leggings, they're gonna overlap each other and it'll just look like a bodysuit situation. Another thing that I don't like about their sports bras or this style is how high cut the neck is. I feel like it should be down here. I mean, that's just a little bit more comfortable for me anyway. I do feel like the impact level on this would be nice, but I just hated how much of like my torso it covered. It just didn't feel comfortable to me on my body type and body length. So I did not like this. Okay, so now for shorts, I work out in shorts all the time. I love biker shorts. They're so comfortable. My current favorite, absolute favorite style of short that I have right now is from Zella. I just got these. I really, really hope they are still available. They're from Nordstrom. This is like the perfect, John, can you grab me a tape measure? This is the perfect length for me right now. And I want to say, I'm gonna guess, John's gonna grab me a tape measure. Wow, this is the world's largest tape measure. I said, whatever. All right, let's tape measure these. Five and a half inches. I think five inches is my absolute perfect number for shorts to work out into where they don't rise up a lot. Seven inches is like a longer biker short, like kind of a right above the knee situation, which if you're pretty short like me, sometimes that can make you look really, really short. I have some three inch inseams that I usually wear like around the house and stuff, but these ones are great. So this is the Zella style. They have a pocket on the side. I have a pair of black ones and I have this color here. I would totally buy these in more colors if they had it. They don't have the same compression as like the Gymshark leggings in the tummy area. So those ones definitely snatch you all the way in. These ones don't have that. So that's something that I think would be cool in these shorts, but these are very comfortable. They don't rise up on the inner thigh area. The length is really, really great. I did discover some Amazon biker shorts that I like. So I went on like a shopping spree one day and ordered a ton of different pairs. And what I ended up finding out is that 99% of them are all the exact same short with different brand names on them, just so you guys know. I do have this one other one that feels different though that I like. And I'll put the link down below. I don't even remember what this says on here. So we'll start with this one. This is the Belief seven inch inseam. And these ones are very comfortable. These are like the soft cottony material. These I like to wear on the plane cruising around the house. I'll wear them out with like a baggy t-shirt or something. This is like my not getting dressed up, but I'm not working out really either in these ones. They have pockets on the side. I get a size small in these ones. They do make my legs look a little bit shorter, but when I'm just like chilling, wearing slides or whatever, I don't really care. Or if I wear shorts on the plane, I have to wear the longer ones just so I'm not like, you know, leg seat 
interaction. Now I did buy the same brand in black. They definitely have that like more workouty type feel to it. You know what I'm talking about? A little bit more spandexy. They're not as good as the gray ones. The cottony ones are much better than these ones. But if you guys are looking for like an easy biker short, more affordable, these ones are pretty good. They, these didn't slide down on me when I wore them. So I just don't really care for this, this long of a short. All right, so I did buy these ones. These are the three inch inseam. I have a size small in these but I bumped up to a size medium because I had in the small, I had like a muffin top on my thigh. So it was squeezing my thigh, but the top fit okay. So I was like, all right, whatever. Let me bump up to a size medium. The medium is just too big in the waist, but I still have the muffin top around my thigh, but they're pretty comfortable. They're just not my most optimal gym short, if that makes sense. Now this one, Ododos, I think is the brand. These are a size small, but these ones are definitely pretty comfortable. I like these ones. I wear them to work out from time to time. To me, they, these are uh, more comfortable because they're the more cottony type feel compared to the black ones. The black ones are like a totally different material, but these ones are nice. They definitely squeeze my thighs though. This is a size small, but I know if I go up to a size medium, it's just gonna be too big in the waist and the thigh is still gonna be the same. So I just kind of accepted it and I still wear them. You know, I moved on with my life. I feel like I have to share the fails too, you know, while I'm here. So I did buy some of the Gymshark shorts. I think this was like after I bought the fit leggings, I was like, oh, let me get like the sports bra and the shorts. So I got these shorts and these are by far the worst things I think I've ever put on my body. I was just like, oh my God, why am I doing this to myself? I really want them to have shorts that I like, but I feel like their material is a little bit too compression and compression around a thigh is not the business for me. <laughs> these just did not work out for me. I'll show you guys, but I don't want to particularly. Now I do have a lot of pair of Aulo yoga shorts as well, which I really, really like. This is a pair of their yoga shorts. Now some of their shorts are tiny, tiny, tiny. These are like itty bitty bitty. Like I think the inseam on here is like one inch. These are pretty comfortable actually for wearing at home. I mean, look at this band on the top. Like why can I not get this in more shorts? Hello? Hello? So I have those shorts. I have the shorts that I'm wearing right now, which I'll show you guys, which these are too short to wear to the gym. I think I ordered these from Nordstrom too. I find a lot of my workout stuff there, like the simple stuff, but these are too short to wear to the gym. I wore them one day and I ran on the treadmill and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know how sometimes you don't realize how much something's gonna ride up until you're actually doing the activity and then it's just too late? Yeah, so that was me that day. I almost started a fire in the gym with my legs, but these ones are very comfortable. I love how thin they are. They don't squeeze your thigh, which is amazing. I feel like Aloe Yoga really has that figured out. I would say Aloe Yoga and Zella probably have my most favorite workout shorts right now, but I'm always looking for more. So if you guys have any short suggestions that aren't super, super tight, you know, like squeeze, let me know. All right, you guys, last thing I have to talk about for my favorite workout stuff is shoes. Now this one, I was like, okay, how like how many shoes am I about to talk about today? If you guys haven't seen my sneaker video where I talk about all my favorite shoes, go check that one out. I'll link it below. It shows every single pair of sneakers that I own. Now today I narrowed it down to really just one to two pairs that are my absolute favorite to wear in the gym. My current absolute favorite sneakers to wear in the gym right now are the Nike Epic React shoes. I've wanted this style for a long time. I love this type of material, the top. I have this shoe here as well. I've had these for so long and they've really gone through it and I wanted to get another pair, but these are the fly nets that I got a really, really long time ago. And these are always my favorite shoes to run in to pretty much do anything in. Like I can do anything in these shoes, lifting, whatever, I'm comfortable in them. And I wanted to get something similar, but I noticed sometimes with those ones, like the fly nets, when I do stuff that's like really like side to side, or if you're doing like ladder work, you know how sometimes you can flop over cause there's not really a lot of support. It's almost like wearing a sock. I really wanted these ones. And I ordered the pair that I thought was white with like the neon colors on the back. And it ended up being like periwinkle blue with all these different colors. And you know, it just, it was a little bit too much for me. So I ended up sending those back and I could not find a colorway that I really, really liked and I wanted to buy. So I didn't for a really long time. And then I found these ones on sale at Nordstrom. Now I'm not a huge fan of like black and pink together. I'm not gonna lie, but these were on sale and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna order them. And these have definitely turned into my favorite training shoe. Now I will say, I feel like you can wear whatever shoes you want to the gym. Like whatever shoe you're most comfortable in makes you feel good, go for it. I feel like for some reason there's a lot of like, oh my God, why are you wearing that shoe to do that? You should not be wearing that shoe to do that. And you know, maybe there is like a more optimal shoe to be wearing for whatever type of workout you're doing. But for me, I feel like some shoes are just more comfortable than others. And that's just the way it is. A lot of people like to wear 
like chucks when they do lifting or leg day or I don't typically do days where I'm like, I'm just doing legs today. You know, I'll do like a lot of different stuff. So I like to have a shoe that's kind of more versatile. Maybe I want to start with sprints and then I'm in the mood to go do like legs or something, you know? I can do all of that in this. I feel very comfortable doing any type of leg workout in these shoes, but I would have gone up a half a size for this shoe just because it's a little bit more narrow at the top. A lot, I feel like most Nikes are a little bit more narrow. I used to train a lot in NMDs, which, you know, I'm not mad at them or like a lot of the Adidas pod shoes. I forget the name, like something pod, which I really like. The only thing with those is they have a very wide heel. This is like, it still has a little bit of a border on here, but the NMDs like stick out like that far. And if you're doing stuff on like the plyo ball thing, you know, like say you're doing like leg curls or something on there, sometimes that border can, for me, get in the way a little bit. So anyway, I've just been training in these ones and I really, really like them. I would love some more colorways, you know, maybe a little bit less pink. Now, this one, so many questions about the Metcon. These are the Nike free Metcon, which if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be a little bit more versatile than the regular other Metcon shoe. They have descriptions for everything on the Nike website. I'm not gonna try and be an expert on all of them because I'm not, but I really wanted to try this out. I was like, you know, this is like a good lifting shoe. I did run a little bit on the treadmill in these and it wasn't bad. Definitely not like a good running shoe. I think this one, the Nike Free Metcon, is like you're supposed to be able to do pretty much everything in this shoe. For me, I feel like when I walk in it, I kind of walk like a horse. The thing with these, they destroyed my ankle. Like I went and ran an errand after I went to the gym and I was wearing these and I thought it would be fine to just go run in and grab something really quick. Once I started walking in them, like from the parking lot into the store, I was like, like literally my skin was gone after that and it hurts so bad. So next time I wear these, I would definitely wear higher socks for sure, even though I really like no-show socks with gym shoes. When I first wore these and I trained in them, it was not like I did not run in them. I just did like more circuit training, lifting type stuff. And I was like, damn, these are so comfortable, which is true. They are very comfortable. The stability is insane if you're doing like lifting type things in them or like kettlebell swings. Like you don't feel like you're ever losing your balance, you know, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I feel like I can wear my Epic Reacts with everything and run in them and go run an errand in them and I'm fine. So I would definitely prefer those over these. That's kind of like my thoughts on these. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. All my favorite workout gear and I guess some of my least favorite workout gear. Absolute worst. Um, I'll try to link as much as I can. Anything that's available or that I can find, I'll link in the description box down below so you guys can go check it out. That wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Why was I doing that? Hey you guys, welcome. <laughs> Calm down. Dang, I hella made a mess in here. But you're still getting the damn workout in, so who cares? <laughs> this is my worst nightmare now, actually, now that I'm looking at this.